Hello everyone, in the previous video I shared with you how to solve the issue of notification alerts. This device isn't Play Protect certified after installing Google Framework on Huawei Harmony OS 4 system. We achieved this by using ADB tool to disable a module of Google Framework. Afterwards, I received feedback from some friends saying that disabling the Google Framework module did indeed resolve the issue of notification alerts. And previously installed Google applications such as YouTube, Gmail and Google Maps were functioning properly without any problem. However, when they tried to download other new applications from the Google Play Store later on, an error occurred while retrieving information from the server and they were unable to download and install new apps. In this video, I will share with you how to solve this problem of being unable to open the Google Play Store. Alright then, let's take a look at my Huawei phone together. Let's go! Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. You, from my phone, you can see from my desktop, I already installed the Google's GMS and Google applications. If you have not yet installed the Google GMS and Google applications, you can refer to my previous video. I will put the video link down below this video description and on how to fix the uh, error warning. The error warning said uh, the device is not Play Protect certified. How to fix this uh, notification alert? You can also refer to my previous video. I will put the video link down below this video description on how to install the native Google GMS and uh, how to fix the uh, error warning said this device is not Play Protect certified. Okay, you can refer to my previous video down below this video description. Okay, next let's uh, in this video I will show you how to fix uh, you failed to open the Play Store um, uh, error. It said uh, that uh, some error warnings on the Play Store, but other applications are all okay. Okay, first let's check the settings and go to the setting here about uh, system and update. Let's check a look um, software update. You can see here my phone is using Harmony OS 4, the latest version of the Harmony OS um, uh, system. You can see here your software is up to date. Yes, Harmony OS. Let's go back and go back and go to here. That's a good Google. You can see the Google GMS framework is already installed on my Huawei phone. This is a native Google GMS. Google, click Google. You can see my account already logged in to this uh, uh, GMS, Google GMS here. Perfect. And go to user and account. Click user and account, Google account. Click here. I already switch on the synced contact, sync drive and sync Gmail and sync people and details. Everything is uh, everything working um, perfectly. Okay, let's go back to my desktop and you have a look at uh, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube can work perfectly and uh, Google Map. Yeah, Google Map or still can uh, work perfectly. So on the Chrome okay, also works perfectly. You can see I already logged into my account here. My account logged in account and sync with my uh, favorite, my bookmarks, my, my browsing history can be uh, um, uh, synchronized. Yeah, and the Gmail, I can see receive and send mail and drive to synchronize my files, my pictures here. So everything works perfect. And let's go to the setting back again. Let's go to um, the apps and services and go to apps and go to here, search GOO, Google, and uh, click four dots in the right top here and show system process. Let's have a look and see the Google service framework is disabled. So the status is disabled. This is the purpose of disabled Google service framework is for uh, fix the error warning of this device is not Play Protect certified. After the Google service framework is disabled with the ADB tool, then the data warning is disappeared. If you have not uh, fixed the issue, you can refer to my previous video. I will put a video link down below this video uh, description here. Okay, next. But after that, I mean, after Google Service Framework is disabled, let's go back to desktop. The Play Store can't work. Can't work. Yes, you can see his error dfdferh-01, which means um, it can't can't work. So, but other applications works perfect. Only this um, Play Store can't work after using the ADB tool disable the Google. Um, so, I mean the, that module. That module in the in the in, in the apps and services after disable that module, fix the error or warning. Okay, but uh, we have another solutions. The Play Store can't be used. Then we can use a third-party application store. 
App Store here, like Aurora Store. This is a, I think this is the best uh, third-party uh, app uh, app store. Um, I mean, comparing with Play Store, they are very similar to each other. All the apps in the Play Store can be found in the Aurora Store. Let's have a look. I click Aurora. I already installed the Aurora Store here. You can see you can find this uh, applications, and then you can find using the search the search button to search your applications like G. Google, um, GOO, Google Map, Google Translate here, something like that. Like it's Google Translate, you can see here. And uh, you can see here there are some words. Requires, requires GSF, which means Google Service Framework. Yes, which means all uh, with applications with these uh, words said require GSF, require GSF, require GSF, which means um, this application requires GSF Google Service Framework. But uh, we already installed the Google free um, Google service framework only which means only the Play Store can't work so everything is okay the Google service place Google service framework is already installed and work perfectly but only the Play Store can't work so we're just using the Aurora store to replace the place the I mean the Play Store to install and download the applications um, but we already have this GSF so it is perfect to use this Aurora, Aurora store to download. Click the translate and uh, in click install. We can install the application very easily. Okay, so next I will show you how to step by step how to install the Aurora third party um, Play Store, third party app store to uh, use it to um, install and download, install the Google's applications or other applications from the Aurora app store. Okay, then I will delete the drive here uninstall and delete gmail i will use aurora store to um, reinstall it again okay and then i delete the aurora store uninstall okay so now um it's the three apps it deleted and then i will download the aurora store here you can use i will put a web link down below this video description and you can use the uh, internal browser or use the chrome uh, browser to open that web link okay for me i was just using the internal browser internal browser here and uh, skip and here this is the aurora store official website here aurora uh, aurora oss.com i will put this web link down below this video description and open this web link then uh, open this web then let's have a look this aurora web, aurora store is an official yes client to uh in third party uh app store some introduction third party app store you can use it to download the applications just to go down go down some features free uh yes this is a free open source here free open source app store here and here the aurora oss we will click this link aurora oss stable we needed to download a stable version of the aurora store click stable and go to the download link here and uh, let's have a look we need to download the latest version here it's only six megabyte the latest version is october 17 october 17 we will download the 4345 4.3.5 uh, is latest version click it and you can see aurora store click download button click download click download because i already downloaded it you ask me to download it again yeah uh finish the download and uh, there will pop up a window for you to allow to install this app click allow and tick in tick in this uh un i understand and click install to install aurora store and key in your password your screen password yes your screen password to install the aurora store to use it okay done yeah let's go back to the desktop or rest is on our desktop then this is our first time to run it click aurora store and some welcome introductions and click next yes and the session installer the by default no need to change anything and click next um theme follow system themes no change to anything click next um the uh, accent select what you like by default no need to change it click next and apps link market android by default no need to change anything um, which is the simplest way click next okay then installer permission allow installing apps from aurora store then we need to grant this permission yes click this grant and click allow app install click it and go back said you can see here the grant is gray out which means we already granted the installer uh, permission and click finish 
it's very easy to do that right and you can use your google account to log in to aurora store or use anonymous so i recommend you that you use uh, anonymous yes anonymous is enough it's, it's uh, uh, very good yes i click anonymous to in to log on to log on this uh, aurora uh, app store yes Okay, now already. Uh, okay, now we already logged into the Aurora Store. You can see here. This is uh, some tabs here: apps, games, something like that. Then we can use this uh, search bar here, search button, the uh, find the search button here. You can, we, we, for example, we can search the Gmail. Just we just delete it, and we will reinstall it back. Gmail here. You can see the first one. Gmail requires GSF. Click the Gmail, and uh, you can some introduction go down here. Yes, yeah, some introductions and the permissions, some introductions, and we click install to install the Gmail. Click it, and it's depend on your internet speed. You need to be patient, waiting for its downloading and install. For me, the speed is around uh, 1.122 megabyte per second. Just be patient after it finishes the download of the applications. Okay, now finish the download and click. And install click on un understand and click install key your screen password yes okay see or well, finished and click done and we can uh, go back to search for another applications here we can search for like uh, the drive google drive yeah i just deleted the drive and reinstall it back google drive click it and uh, click install the google drive to install reinstall it back the speed is around three megabyte per second download speed be patient three megabyte yes finish the download and uh, click i understand and click install screen password installing drive okay perfect finished let's go back to our desktop you can see the gmail and the drive google drive back again let's have a look uh, using this uh, aurora store install these two applications if they can still work perfectly let's go back to the uh, gmail let's have a look yes new Jing gmail no no any issues got it and my account already here and take me to the gmail yeah everything seems perfect yes you can see my gmail is back and my account already logged in and click the drive and see yeah the drive and can be open perfectly and already my account already logged in here you can see this is my account already logged in and my files already displayed here so those are uh, in um this those two applications can be reinstalled successfully so this is a good solution i think the solution to replace the play store if the play store doesn't work then we can use the aurora store to replace the play store because our huawei phone already installed the gsf so the gsf can work perfectly only the play store can't then we can use aurora store to replace the play store to um, download and uh, install new applications okay if you like my sharing don't forget to sum up and see you next time bye bye